good morning, uh, everyone. And it's very pleasure for me to uh, speak in this conference. And I'm Chang Li from Neurovascular Center, Shanghai Hospital, Naval Medical University. Uh, I'm from Shanghai, China, and I'm uh, a team member of Jamming News team. Uh, my topic is Leo Baby Stand Assisted Coiling for Intracranial Aneurysms Involving Small Vessels. Uh, as we all know, the intracranial states are milestones in the endovascular um, uh, therapy for uh, intracranial aneurysms. And uh, after the intervention of the uh, stent and uh, the eugenage of the stent in the stent assisted coiling, various stent assisted techniques has been um, produced to, uh, to, to treat the aneurysms when we can and use a various uh, stent assisted techniques to uh, make their uh, 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 this kind of uh, aneurysms uh, curable. And uh, uh, you can see from the uh, matter uh, analysis that uh, there, uh, there is a lower recurrent rate uh, after the uh, stent assisted coiling. Uh, it, uh, whenever uh, compared with the balloon remodeling or compared with the coil-only technique. And uh, uh, even uh, in the um, uh, aneurysms that was involving uh, uh, small vessels, uh, stand-assisted coiling is also efficient and uh, maybe safety for the, this kind of aneurysms, uh, such as uh, the stands of uh, neural forms stands, and also um, the stands uh, for the low-profile visualized uh, intraluminal support device that is Elvis stents. Um, but uh, there, uh, there are uh, 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 some challenges in the stent assisted coiling for the uh, for the uh, intracranial aneurysms involving small vessels, uh, such uh, as these um, uh, aneurysms, uh, which is located in the acum uh, artery, and uh, the uh, parent artery is very tortuous. And it is very difficult for uh, us to assess the um, parent artery and uh, distal to the neck of the aneurysm. And uh, for the normal uh, stent, the, uh, the, the, the catheter, uh, which is uh, uh, advancing on the stent from, the, it is very big and uh, it, the accessibility is uh, limited. And um, just as this uh, is, this one is also an uh, ICAM aneurysm, and uh, we treat this aneurysm with the enterprise stent. And it is a, um, a case that we have treated years ago. Um, the parent artery, the root that I says is very tortuous, but we assess, uh, uh, we managed to uh, treat this aneurysm, but it is very challenging for us. Um, uh, but now we have the um, stents of very low profile, and uh, that is we can um, uh, assess the parent artery use a very uh, small uh, microcatheter, uh, such as the Elvis Junior stent, which can be uh, advanced through a point uh, zero uh, seventeen inch uh, uh, microcatheter that. That is the catheter we uh, can uh, advance the uh, coils. So it is much um, uh, easier to assess the parent artery and proximal or distal to the uh, neck of the aneurysm. And uh, also another uh, uh, the study which is uh, concerning this uh, challenge. And uh, compared with the, uh, as the normal stent, uh, the, the safety is comparable or better um, uh, concerning their uh, very low profile stents. Mm. So um, this is the case which has been treated with the Leo baby stent. The, uh, the aneurysm is located on the pica, and then, which is the dissecting aneurysm. We can see the parent artery is very tortuous and very small. 
So um, this uh, aneurysm was treated with the uh, little baby stent and uh, the uh, Merkel catheter can be uh, uh, advanced to the uh, distal to this uh, small uh, uh, parent artery and uh, the stent is deployed and uh, the follow-up shows the aneurysm is um, partially um, uh, occluded. And uh, this is the case we treat uh, years ago, um, several years ago. Uh, it's uh, also a uh, dissecting uh, aneurysms located on the pica, and uh, the pica and the uh, proximal vertebral artery is very uh, thin and uh, tortuous. And we managed to advance the microcatheter, and uh, the dual uh, uh, baby stent was implanted into the um, pica and opened well, and we also uh, coiled the aneurysm, and uh, the aneurysm was uh, resulted in Raymond 1. And even the, these uh, very uh, narrow vessels, the um, microcatheter can be advanced to the distal part of the aneurysm, and uh, there also the stent is opened well, uh, even the, in this uh, very na narrow uh, uh, site, and the result in the uh, total optimization of this aneurysm. And uh, uh, the other uh, concern for the uh, stent assisted coiling is the operation of the uh, stent. And uh, this is also an uh, ECOM aneurysm. Um, firstly, we use uh, Elvis Junior stand to um, uh, to do the uh, uh, stand assisted coiling. But you can see from the middle image, you, you can see the uh, Elvis stand is not opened well. The opposite it is not a, with a good opposition. And uh, but uh, with the little uh, uh, baby stand, you can see with the sliding stretch and technique. Uh, it can uh, open well uh, even in a uh, parent artery uh, with very accurate angle, just like this patient. It uh, also an a ruptured uh, ACOM aneurysm. You can see the A1 and N2, uh, the, the angle between the A1 and the A2 is very accurate, but we can manage to uh, uh, implant the uh, little baby stents very well. And uh, the other, uh, the third concern about the uh, stand assist coiling is the conformability and alignment of the stand. And um, yes, uh, we uh, agree that uh, when uh, by deploying a, a open cell stand, the uh, stand can uh, open well uh, at even the very tortuous as uh, site. Um, but if we want to, uh, 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 but the uh, the uh, alignment is not is not very well, uh, e e especially on the the large curve of the uh, vessel, uh, especially on the uh, if the uh, aneurysm is located on the large curve of the vessel, the um, the the stent was will will not. Uh, cover the uh, the neck very well um, but if we use a uh, oh, close the cell or a braided stand and it can be well uh, covered just like this patient is uh, used is with the uh, acom aneurysm and we placed a, a, new, a neuroform stand and to cover the cell of the aneurysm uh, when we are trying to um, when we were trying to insert a very uh, small uh, coil to finishing um, a coil aneurysm, it was very difficult, and uh, our coil always put, put, portrayed into the um, uh, into the stand. That is uh, 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 at the side at the side of the uh, neck of the aneurysm. It is not uh, covered by the stress. But for this patient, which is the uh, with uh, um, bifurcation, uh, MCA bifurcation, white neck aneurysm, and uh, uh, you can see when if we uh, used an open cell stand, 
and it, uh, the neck of the algorithm will not be covered very well. So we uh, use a little baby stance to cover uh, the uh, neck of the algorithm and uh, then coil the algorithm. And uh, this is the final, in the, in the final view. You can see the um, uh, parent artery was uh, well extracted. And uh, this is the follow up. You can see the uh, aneurysm was totally occluded and the parent artery was uh, scrapped very well. And uh, the fourth uh, concern is the low working zone. Uh, just like this uh, PCOM aneurysm, uh, if we want, uh, uh, we are trying to avoid um, put the stent in the vertebral artery. So there, uh, we need a stent of very short, no working do, and we can manage this use a, a little baby stent. And the other uh, concerns is the size of the cell. And uh, uh, we all know that the new stent, the braided stent is uh, with very small cells, that is about uh, one millimeter. So this is a bifurcation, uh, MCA bifurcation aneurysm um, with a, a big sac and a very small uh, a neck, but the neck is the wide neck. So uh, we firstly, we try to um, uh, coil the, um, the, the, the big dome and then we try to uh, uh, coil the neck. Uh, if, uh, and uh, the, because the neck is very small, so we try to uh, insert very small coils, uh, and uh, it can be the parent artery can be protected well. Uh, use the very uh, small cell stand, uh, little baby. And also, we uh, want to use the barotechnic for wide neck uh, aneurysm or the uh, uh, Basal uh, or the bifurcation aneurysm, just like this one, which is the basal tip uh, um, aneurysm, and uh, we uh, just use one uh, stent and to uh, protect the parent artery, and we use the barrel technique, and uh, we, we we can see the parent artery is uh, protected well, and we all, we can also use this and uh, in the other uh, bifurcation aneurysms. Even though the uh, uh, branch is very small and the, uh, the aneurysm's neck is very small, we can um, push the uh, stent uh, to make a barrel and to protect the neck of the aneurysm, uh, just like this one. And uh, this is the uh, uh, when we are doing the uh, stent as it's coiling. And uh, here we are uh, push the stent to, to um, make the barrel, and uh, this is the uh, uh, six months follow up. You can see the parent artery is uh, protected very well, and the aneurysm is totally up, uh, occluded. And even uh, uh, sometimes we can uh, use the barrel technique plus uh, microcaster remodeling for the uh, white neck aneurysm to avoid using the T or Y and stent technique. And just like this, uh, ACOM aneurysm. Uh, we uh, use a, a single stand and uh, uh, a microcatheter uh, 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 remodeling technique. And uh, this is the final view. Uh, and uh, this is uh, a uh, six months follow up. You can see the, uh, the, the uh, epistolateral A1 is also protected very well. And uh, uh, sometimes we want to use the uh, flow diversion uh, of the uh, stents. Just like the other braided stents, uh, the uh, Leo, uh, Leo stents can have a better uh, uh, flow diversion effect. So just uh, like this uh, PCOM uh, dissection, uh, PCA dissection aneurysm, uh, we uh, use the two stents to protect, to reconstruct the parent artery and with some coilings in the aneurysms and uh, the, we uh, totally embolize the aneurysm and reconstruct the parent artery. And uh, we uh, uh, respectfully reviewed that there are some uh, cases of the P, uh, PCA uh, that's, uh, aneurysms, which has been uh, treated with the braided stents 
the result shows uh, in, by using the British stents to treat the uh, PCA, this special uh, aneurysm, the uh, outcome is very good and the, it is uh, relatively safe. And uh, um, the, in the other um, uh, studies, uh, there are also some uh, uh, study to uh, to to review the uh, safety and effect of using uh, the Leo stents and to um, to test the fluid diversion effect. And uh, the the data shows that the fluid diversion properties of the Leo stent is very good. And even uh, by using a single Leo stent, and the occlusion rate is very high. So uh, this is there are some cases which has been published in the, in some uh, uh, literatures. Uh, this is the uh, uh, aneurysm located in the A1 segment, uh, which is very difficult to, to analyze it. As you, you can see by placing uh, one single Leo stent, the aneurysm is uh, totally occluded. And also the PCOM, uh, the PCA aneurysm. And uh, this is a case which has been treated in our center. You can see this is a, a very difficult to, to treat. And uh, uh, we just uh, put uh, a one, go, one single uh, little baby stents in the parent artery. And uh, after six months, you can see the, uh, the aneurysm was shrinked. Uh, not only the aneurysm which has been arise, uh, just uh, arise from this, uh, the parent artery, but also the distal aneurysm is uh, also shrinked. And, uh, it, uh, but uh, in some patients, uh, their uh, fluid diversion effect is limited. You can see uh, this is the uh, very uh, uh, challenging, uh, maybe dissecting aneurysm, um, who is a uh, very, um, uh, is a young girl, uh, and uh, you can see their um, uh, basilar tip dissecting aneurysms. Firstly, we treat this uh, aneurysm with uh, with a little baby stent and uh, coiling, and uh, after um, five months, the uh, aneurysm recanonized. So we put another uh, a, a, a fluid diverter, that is a two bridge fluid diverter to uh, reconstruct the parent artery. And uh, after one year, the, um, the aneurysm was totally occluded. And uh, when, I, when we are using the uh, diversion effect, we must uh, uh, pay attention to the uh, branches which has been uh, covered by the Leo stand. Just like this patient, you can see the, uh, the one branch of the MCA after placing a Leo stent, the, the artery is shrinked. And uh, in this patient, which is the uh, ACOM aneurysms, we put uh, the Leo baby stent in the epistolateral A2 and to A1. Um, but after um, six months, you can see the aneurysm was totally amplified, but the uh, uh, origin of the ACOM the ACOM artery, you can see there is a slight uh, narrow here. So um, uh, uh, that uh, for by using the Leo baby stent, it is very useful in if we want to use a multiple systems, um, because uh, just like this patient, we will use three microcatheters uh, to uh, amplify these, the, these two nobular aneurysms. One is for standing and the other two for coiling. And uh, it is very um, uh, convenient to use these uh, multiple systems. And uh, sometimes we need to uh, use the uh, T or Y stent to treat the bifurcation aneurysms. And uh, just like these uh, ACOM aneurysms, uh, it is very difficult for us to treat. We use uh, one single stent, so we treat it with the treat him with the uh, T uh, stent. One is um, uh, put into the ACOM and one is to the APS lateral A1 to the A2. And uh, this is the final result. And uh, we um, 
we the we we also reviewed their um, T or uh, uh, X uh, and uh, or or Y uh, stenting using their uh, Leo baby stent, and the, the result is good. But sometimes we will encounter the interstent stenosis, just like this one. After six months, uh, uh, the, the, the patient has no symptoms, but you, you can see from the DSA, uh, there was interstent stent stenosis here. And just by using, continue using anti to therapy, we will, uh, the, the patient remained well. So how about the safety and the efficacy, uh, safety uh, of the stents? From this uh, very large uh, systemic review, we can see the uh, treatment with the braided stents is relatively safe and effective. And uh, uh, there is also another uh, uh, study which has been uh, included. Uh, more than 100 patients that was treated with the Leo baby stents, we can see here. Uh, the um, primary uh, uh, procedural complications, the, not only uh, some uh, embolotic or hemorrhagic effects are uh, comparable to other stents. And, uh, but the interest uh, stent stenosis is uh, slightly higher. And so uh, uh, to give a, a summary, you can see from uh, here that the Leo baby stent is with good accessibility or conformability and opposition of the uh, parent artery. And uh, you can see it was uh, with uh, uh, a good uh, fluid diversion effect. And uh, um, in conclusion that the real baby stent is relatively small and uh, safe and effective uh, for uh, stent assisted calling uh, for the aneurysms involving small air vessels. Thank you.